as we all know, we started back in 2007 with one drug being sorafenib, and now we are really uh, 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 flooded, to say the least, with different uh, options of therapy. And this is, if anything, great news for the patients before anybody else. Uh, so now in first line already we have uh, approved uh, lenvatinib as a uh, excellent other opportunity that patients can be uh, used. Uh, in addition to that, in second line, we have rigorafenib after patients who progress on sorafenib add to potential for the use of uh, nivolumab, which is still in conditional uh, approval uh, for second line. And uh, we have advent data for cabozantinib uh, in second and third line. And we also have data for remisirumab in uh, second line for patients with high alpha fetoprotein. This is let alone uh, the whole activity other than TKIs. Uh, um, the uh, interest also is in regard to checkpoint inhibitors. And as I mentioned, uh, the nifolumab is in conditional approval so far. Uh, we are all eager and anticipating to hear at some point in time the Checkmate 459 nifolumab versus rafnib data. And this, of course, will help guide us uh, what will be uh, coming as first line being uh, TKIs or checkpoint inhibitors.